most of us at some point in our web career want to create some kind of image gallery that uses jQuery, which is a really cool way to do it. So I've got a page open here, and I want to show you how to use Dreamweaver CS5 or CS55 and the widget browser to easily stick one in to one of your pages. It's so simple. So I've got a page open as an example. I'll click Live View, and it's this is kind of lame, you guys. It, you can make it look however you want. I just did it really quickly, but if I click on an image, and I can put my own in here, you'll see what it does. It actually makes a light box, or some people call this a thick box, where we can go to the next, go to previous. You'll also see that down here, we can have some text and add text if we want or close it. So it's really pretty easy. Now, you're not gonna put video in this thing and stuff like that. There are other others you can use, but like I said, this is just stupid simple to put in your page. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this up. I've got a site that I created. It's really simple, there's nothing in it, and I'll start from scratch. So I'll go to File New. You can put this in any page you want, by the way. I'll click Create for, I'll just make an HTML5 page, whatever. And I'll save it out there, save my CSS. I'll save my page in my folder, and I'll just call this Test or something. And I'll go in and type in Gallery, and hit a Return, and have a place for it. Now, here's what we do. To insert it, find this little icon right here, and you'll see what's called Widget Browser. Now, you can find this under the menus too, but in Mac, it might be over here. Go to the widget browser. It should open the widget browser. Okay. Now, like I said, you want to do this in Dreamweaver CS5, Dreamweaver CS, CS55. They do say that this works in CS4, but I haven't tested it, so I can't vouch for it. When you go to the widget browser, it's going to ask you to log in using your Adobe ID. I've already done that. It's showing me what I've got. It's free, you guys, if you don't have one. So there's tons of stuff in here. Really cool. A lot of good stuff. jQuery especially. You'll see Lightbox Gallery Widget. There's several of them in here. I'll click on this. It's going to say, oh, here's what it's about, blah, blah, blah. I'll add it to my widgets. It'll add it. Say, there you go. It'll take me to my widgets. And I've been in here before. I've added a few for myself. I'll click on Lightbox Gallery Widget. Now, the cool thing about this is it gives us some defaults here. It's going to show us what it looks like, how it works. So if I want to, I can come out here and click and just take a quick look at it. And there we go. Now, you'll have, see how they have an orange version, and they've got vertical. So you either choose default or orange for horizontal or vertical for vertical. I'm going to go uh, orange horizontal. And what we can do is we can go in and configure it here. So I'll click Configure. It'll take me in, and it'll let me do a lot of stuff to the appearance here. Now, fix nav buttons means put them in a certain location, and if you hover over this, you see it says, check, check to fix the navigation next to previous. Otherwise, it shows up only when you um, roll over, okay? So you can turn that on and off. Resize duration, you see how long it takes, basically, to get out there. If I go to gallery, the background is the background here. So I can do things like do whatever I want here. I can change the color of it. I can change the width of this. I can do things like, let's make this uh, 100%. So I can say 100%. You notice how if I made it much smaller, like let's say 100 pixels, it made it vertical. I can change padding. So I'll just do a little bit of padding here. And you're going to see it's going to automatically try and update. If it doesn't, you can click refresh and do it. I can align center if I want to, let's say. That's kind of cool. Go to thumbnails. I can change the background here, as well as this hover color I do. So background, I could do like a gray, whatever you want to do, you guys. You can do whatever you want. So hover white, left border. You can make these smaller. I'm going to go through everything here, but quick and easy. There we go. Not bad. Margins. Now, this is how far apart they are, basically. So I can say, let's put uh, like zero left, zero right, and see what we get. They'll get pretty close. You can do whatever you want here. The image container box, that's when we click on one of these and it shows up. You'll see this, well, to me it's ghastly, but this orange back here, you can change that color right here. I can do something like a green, a white, a black, or whatever. Opacity is how see-through or transparent it is. So I can make it a little bit darker if I want. Click on one. I'll see it again. Whoops, there we go. Border width, sorry. <laughs> that's this right here. We can see this red color. Okay, so that's the border style. You can make a dotted dash, change the color, whatever you want to do. If I click on icons, 
There are icons for next and previous typically if they show up. If I click next, you'll see next and previous. We can change those if we want to and make our own. And here's the path to them. Leave them alone for now. Internationalization, if I scroll down, you'll see that we have image something of something. We can change this text right here to be like Hawaiian, Hawaiian vacation. I'm going to have to click on it again to see it. Let me scroll down. Hawaiian vacation, there we go. All right, now this is looking pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll give it a name. It'll save it in here. I'll save it. Now, if you're in Dreamweaver CS5, um, I'm not sure this is going to work. I haven't really tested it. I'm in Dreamweaver CS5.5 right now, but the latest version of Widget Browser. You guys need to make sure you have it, okay? Um, and how can I do that? Well, if I go out, let me go back to my widgets. You're going to see Help. If I click on that, check for updates. If I click on that, make sure you've got the latest version installed. Click Close. I'll go back to the light box. The reason why is because we can do this. There's a little hand here. I can just drag this into Dreamweaver. Just click and drag, drop it where I want it, and there we go. Now, if you don't have that ability or if it's not working in your version, you can also do this. I can go up to Insert Widget or in the Insert Panel, choose my widget and choose my default and just click on OK to insert it that way. Now, you'll see it's not going to work right now. Okay, it doesn't look like it is. But once I hit save, and I apologize, I just hit the shortcut, Control S or Command S, save it, it'll save all the files necessary. I'll click OK. I'll go take a look at it. Click on Live View. And if I hover and take a look, click, there we go. Not too bad. All right, let me close it up. Now, just to give you a little heads up here, I'll click off of Live View, scroll up. If you want to change the pictures here, what you can do is you can click on each one of these. And this is just a list, you guys. All of these are just a list. And if you look down here in Properties, you'll see we have Source. That's the thumbnail. That's the small picture. And you link to a bigger picture. So if you want to put your own pictures in here, here's what you can do. This is the way I typically do it. I'll go over to the right, find the Images folder. You'll see the thumbnail. Let me open one of those up. I'll double click. It'll open in Photoshop for me. If I take a look, you need to make your thumbnail pictures about 72 by 72 in size. Just save them as JPEGs or, you know, whatever you want. The bigger one, let me close this up. The bigger one, if I open one of those, if I take a look at that, is almost any size you want. Just make it within the realm of 400, 300, 300, 400, something like that. So the one's not huge. All right, let me close that up. So I've made my own. And just to show you, I'm going to come over here to my files. I will right click and say explore or reveal in finder on Mac. You got to scroll down probably. And what it'll do is it'll actually show you the folder of all those images that they gave us. And you take your images and you stick them in there. Okay. So what I would do, let me uh, minimize this. Sorry. What I would do is, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's freaking out a little bit here. I take my two pictures I created. I'll open them up. And let's say Photoshop. I'll save them as JPEGs typically. Let me just stick these out there. Sorry, real quick. Just file save as. Uh, save for wed rather. Save it. Just put it somewhere. Let me close this up. I'll take those two pictures I created. And I'll just drag them in here to that image folder. There we go. Now let me go back over to Dreamweaver. I'll refresh in my files. You guys will see beach and beach thumb. And here's what I do. I click on one of the pictures in the light box. I look down here at source. For the thumbnail, I can click and drag point to file or go to the folder. And I'll just say thumb, beach thumb. For the big one, I'll just do the same thing. I'll go to beach. There we go. And test it out. Live view. Click. Big beach. There we go. Awesome. Now, if you guys want to add alternate text or some image information in the uh, the light box, the big thing you got out there, what I can do is if I click on one of the pictures, you'll see that we have alternate text here. Now, that's not really going to help us, but if you come down here and you click on this little A for the link for each one of these, click on that, you'll see that we have our link and all sorts of things. You guys can add a title it's right here, something like, you know, uh, my best shot or something like that. Just to show you where that shows up, you guys, if I click on Live View again and click on the picture, take a look right there. 
you guys can get some information on each picture if you want to, which is kind of cool. All right, let me click off of there. If you want to add your own, uh, more, let's say, I'll click off of Live View. I've got these out here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got the rendering toolbar out here. Now, what I did was this. I come up top to all this stuff, and if you guys right-click up here, you'll see Style Rendering. Turn that on. I believe you can also come under the view menu and you'll see it right there. Style rendering, uh, display styles. I think that's what it is right there. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll turn off the CSS styles because there's a bunch of styles in here we can edit. Click on that. Scroll down. You guys will see it's just a list. What you can do is put your cursor after one, hit return, and just take the picture, copy it, and paste it, and then replace it. That's pretty much it. So you'll see, there's my beach down beach. Just make two more pictures, one thumbnail, one regular, and link to them. To see our styles again, you want to make sure you click on toggle styles. And there we go. Now you got to be careful because it's going to start wrapping and stuff. So you want to fit it. But anyway, there you go. That's that's working with a light box. Really easy. Once you guys get in, there's tons of stuff you can do. If you want to take it a little bit further, if you go into the code and take a look, you'll see that we also have these different properties we can set here, like fixed navigation, container resize, lack, background color, opacity. These are the things we set in Widget Browser. If you don't want to go back to Widget Browser and reload it and get everything back in, you can edit these right here. So that's kind of cool. So there you go. That's an easy way to work with a Lightbox Gallery using Dreamweaver and the Widget Browser.